Hey guys, Mythic here, and today I'm back with the final Paris video, which is a combination of day five and six. We went to this, uh, like, is a museum, a light museum, which is really cool because what it was is it was a concrete box, and there were a bunch of projectors that would project images. So everything you see, and this is the outside, was literally projected onto a concrete box. Everything was concrete. Uh, as you can see, you know, there's lights on the walls. What actually really interests me, which actually is really cool, is um, there's the floor. That floor is really neat. I like it a lot. I think it's pretty cool. But I'm just gonna like chill out, and I'm gonna let you guys show. A vi I'm gonna let you guys watch a video of it where you can hear the music and everything. So I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> After that, after that really cool thing, we walked over to the Bastille, which was a uh, French prison around the time of the French Revolution, which was used to hold not many people. But we went over there and we were like, hey, where's the Bastille? And it turns out the Bastille got torn down in the French Revolution, which we actually should have known before we were going over there. But anyway, this day ended in just one more picture of the Eiffel Tower at night. But this day ended because, well... I, we, I felt really sick to my stomach, so we went home. But now, we are going to go see Chateau Versailles. So here we are. Got off the train station. Uh, I like this really cool flag. It's a really cool, neat flag. I'd like a flag like that. Here's some buildings, and this is the uh, sixth day, so this is the last day we're in Paris. Here's a dome from the Chateau. We're going to get closer. You can see it there in the distance. About to get a better shot. And yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's like foggy and misty. But yeah, it looks really cool, and you've just got, like, these huge buildings, and you've got this huge line that we had to wait in. Even though it was a huge line, it only took, like, 15 minutes. And you can just see, like, the gold fences, and there's a statue of some guy. I didn't read his name because it was a big crowd around it. Okay, yeah, you can see, like, all the gold and stuff, and I'm sure, like, a lot of it's fake. But, yeah, it's just really cool. Like, the painted, it just looks grandiose. And, you know, you've got the inside. It was, uh, the Chateau Versailles was pretty much a palace for the nobles, which, you know, it's great to be a French noble. Nothing bad happened to those guys. Just want, I just dream about being a French noble. It's so great. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. So, like, there you got a bunch of kings, a bunch of French kings, and from, like, the 1800s. Here's a model of the, uh, Chateau. Here's a bunch of, uh, you know, battles, paintings. The inside of a room, people made these little scale models, which are actually really neat. You've got another painting. You've got just more of the grounds, and it's just impressive. I love little detailed de models. They're really cool. And you've just got more paintings of royals and nobles and more kings. That that was actually a king from the 1800s. I forgot his name, but they like to show them with swords and chain mail, even the ones from the 1800s. And you've just got this art. It's kind of like the uh, Louvre. It's filled with art. It's really neat. Most of France was neat. This was a really cool trip, and I'm really glad to have gotten the experience to see it. And yeah, hopefully I can make more of these travel vlogs. I mean, it's not over yet, but I'm hoping I can make more of these next year. If we go on, a, if we go on another uh, overseas trip. But yeah, you've got like the different rooms for different things. You've got the huge ballroom adorned with gold and all these chandeliers. They're just really cool. You've got a bed and all the fine, 
fine workings. I don't know why the quality shifted there because I took multiple pictures. Here we've got the outside, the gardens. We couldn't really go to the gardens because you needed to pay for it, so yeah. And this is going to be the end of France. In the hotel lobby, there was a store where there was this huge chocolate coin, and uh, there's a phone for reference. And so Paris Adventure ends. Paris Adventure ends with a. It ends with a gold coin, you know? It ends with a good old big chocolate coin. It was a really tasty coin, too. I liked it. And then we got on an eight hour flight to. Uh, well, obviously the next day we ate breakfast, but then we got on an eight hour flight back overseas to Detroit, where we took a two hour flight back to Memphis. And Paris Adventure unfortunately ended. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I'm glad to have been able to make these videos for you. And hopefully I can make more of them. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, and Mythic out.